Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the variables concept in C programming. And then, in the next tutorial, we are going to practice actually, that is put into practice what we discover in variables in C programming. So please don't miss that so that you fully understand the variable concept in C programming. So let's go ahead and complete this part. So in C, we also have what we call the data type modifiers. So one can alter the data storage of any data type by preceding it with certain modifiers. So long and short are modifiers that make it possible for a data type to use either more or less memory. The in keyword need not follow the short and long keywords. So this is most commonly the case. So, as you can see there, a shop can be used where the values fall within a lesser range than that of um, a typical int. So typically, the range of a shop is 32,768, as you can see there. So, a long can be used to contain an extended range of values. So, it's not guaranteed that a short uses less memory than an int. No, it is guaranteed that a long takes up more memory than an integer. So, it is only guaranteed that the size of the short is less or equal than the size of in and um, is less or equal than the size of them. So typically, a short is 2 bytes and an int is 4 bytes and a long either 4 or 8 bytes. So modern C compilers also provide long long which is typically an 8 byte integer. So I hope you got the point from there. So now, in all the type we saw in the next in the previous tutorial, that is the int, the car, the float, and the double, in all of the type described there, one bit is used to indicate the sign that is either positive or negative. Please it's very important. Very important. So remember that when we declare an int which is actually a 4 bytes that means 32 bits since 1 byte is actually 8 bits so we are saying that when you declare an int which is actually 4 bytes that is 32 bits one of the 32 bits is actually for the sign that is the sign of the value of the int that you have declared so now, if you decide that a variable will never hold a negative value, you may use the unsigned modifier to use that one bit for storing other data, effectively doubling the range of values while mandating that those values be positive. So that means, either if you know that a value will never hold a negative value, it's preferable to use on sign in so that you can use the all the 32 bits available because when you declare a variable with an int and then without specify the on sign that means one sign will typically reserve for the in sign so that means 31 bits remains for data and one for the sign. But as far as you are going to use on sign, then you are see we directly know that you are going to use only on sign value, please. It's very important. So that means that when you declare a variable with on sign, you are actually adding one more one more bit to the data storage that is actually now all the full that is full the, the the four bytes 
that is actually 32 bits will be only for data only so there's nothing like for the sign again since you have declared it on sign so the long modifier can also be used with double to create a long double type this floating type may not that is but it's not required to have a greater precision than a double type so that's how the the double actually works so to use a modifier just declare a variable with the data type and relevant modifiers as you can see there we have unsigned short in numbers so that is the number variable will never hold a sign that is a negative sign of course it will be a positive number and it's a short that is it will fall within the range as we saw before and it's actually an integer so we have also a short we can declare a variable like that that means a variable will fall within the range as we saw previously and we have unsigned long distance so i hope you got the point from there and again please don't miss the next tutorials where we are going to go into practice so please it's very important that you you take that you watch that video so that you can get the best approach so we have also word in variable concept what we call the cost please it's very important when the cons qualifier is used the declare variable must be initialized at declaration it is then not allowed to be changed please it's very important as we are going to practice we are going to see that the why the benefit of use the cons as we can even say that why the idea of a variable that never changes may not seems useful there are a good reasons to use const qualifier so for one thing many compilers can perform some small optimizations on data when it knows that data will never change so for example if you need the value of pi in your calculation you can declare that pi as a const variable so a program or another function written by someone else can change the value of pi it cannot change i mean so for that the compiler will then optimize the compilation that is the time you will gain in time so note that a standard conforming compiler must issue a warning if an attempt is made to change a const variable but after doing so the compiler is free to ignore the const qualifier so please it's very important don't miss the next tutorial where we are going into practice first i wanted to explain the concept first before we go we jump into practice so that you have an idea of what we are going to cover there we have also what we call the hash define which is also very important so when you write your programs you can create what is known as a macro so when the computer is reading your code it will replace all instances of a word with the specified expression very important again we are going to practice in the next tutorial so please don't miss that i hope you at least got the point from there so when you want to for example print the price of corn use the word price of corn as you can see there instead of the number 0 0.99 the preprocessor will replace all instances of price of corn with 0 0.99 which the compiler will interpret as a literal double 0 0.99 so everywhere where there is price of corn in your program then the pre in the preprocessor phase as we saw in the, the the compilation phase in c programming in the previous tutorial at the preprocessor phase if there is price of corn everywhere on your program then it will be replaced by that 0 
and then process forward and that 099 will be considered as a double so the preprocessor performs substitution that is price of corn is replaced by 0 0.99 so this means there is no need for a semicolon please there is no semicolon very important it is important to note that the hash defined has basically the same functionality as the find and replace function i hope it's, it, you, it become more clear so it's very important so we also have what we call the scope so it is important to understand the distinction between the local types and global types which falls into the what we call the scope concept and how to declare of each of them so a scope in any programming is a region of the program where a defined variable can have its existence and beyond that variable it cannot be accessed again i know that is maybe too broad or it's not too that so clear but we are going to see that in so practice as we will in the next tutorial so to, to declare a local variable you place the declaration at the beginning that is before any non-declarative statements of the block to which the variable is deemed to be local so declare a global variable declare the variable outside of any block if a variable is global it can be read and written from anywhere in your program as we are going to see in the next tutorial so we are done with variable concept in c programming so in the next tutorial we are going to practice i hope you got the concept the variable concept in c programming which is fundamental as we go forward in this course so i hope you enjoy guys and then see you next for practice please don't miss that also share like and comment and please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done that thanks guys for watching Bye.